Now, everything you've seen is also available inside of Photoshop or Lightroom. This works as a Photoshop plugin and as a Lightroom plugin as well. Plus, it works for photos for Mac OS. The user interface is effectively the same. Let me just show you the Photoshop side of things so you see how this works. Now, if you're working in Photoshop, I suggest you try to open up the images in Camera Raw if possible. This will allow you to do any basic adjustments. And then if you click here, you could choose to open as a smart object. I also suggest working in 16 bits to have the most color information and set this to a proper color space like Adobe RGB. Then when you click OK, the raw file is handed off from Photoshop's Camera Raw into Adobe Photoshop when you open that as a smart object. You'll see it's right there. You're now free to run Luminar as a plugin. And Luminar AI does support smart object workflow. It'll hand it off from Photoshop into Luminar AI. You're also free to use any other Photoshop tools before or after Luminar AI as needed. There it is, it uses the same AI technology. It recognized this as both a waterscape and an overcast day, and that there was objects in the scene. Well, let's try overcast and go with dynamic result. In one click, it really brought that texture to life. And I love how the water's standing out. Now with edit, we can finesse this. Let's just adjust the balance a little bit for enhance and put a little more structure in to bring those rocks to life. I also want to take advantage of one of the great tools here under Creative called Atmosphere. Atmosphere is able to analyze the scene in 3D and detect the depth of the photo. You can now add in things like fog or mist, and you can see as I start to layer this in how it rolls across the surface of the rocks. So I could put a little bit of mist in there instead of dehazing it to bring out that cold, wet feeling on the rocks. Let's go ahead and fill that in with a little mystical glow and a gentle vignette. And just soften that a bit. There you go. And if we click, you see those nice quick changes, how the texture was brought to life. With one click, it'll apply and send the results back to Photoshop on that smart object layer. It processes the image and returns the results to Photoshop where you're free to add more filters or continue to manipulate the layer. There it is, and you can see the smart object has been applied. You can also use this on regular JPEGs as well. I would suggest that you convert to smart filters first so that the filter results are editable. Then from the filter menu, you can invoke Luminar AI. Let's go ahead here. We're working with a photo here from Evgeny Chabrodorov, and it's a photo of Japan. And I just want to get the exposure and the tonality right. It's gonna analyze the photo and make some suggestions. Let's go with Filmatic here and just bring this out a little bit. I like that. Or a nice black and white. Well, we'll stick with color. Then using the edit module here, we could just quickly balance out the exposure with enhance and balance out the texture with structure and balance that in and put a little bit more in with boost. I like that. Using the details slider, I can finesse the details. What I want to do here is really make sure that that texture is coming through. I like that there. Brought the brick texture out. And a little sharpness, feels good. Zoom back out, and I like that. I just want to add a lighting source. So I'll add a basic adjustment, and I'm going to pull from the bottom here with a gradient mask. There we go, just to sort of match that scene and gently pull down the exposure and play with the color temperature there to create some warm light across the bottom of the frame. Again, switch back and click apply and the results are returned to Photoshop. Now, there's a lot more that you can learn about how to use Luminar AI. I hope you enjoyed this quick look to walk you through all the core features it's a great tool that works as both a standalone application and a plugin. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for watching.